the sort of inauguration day for us um, is December 12th, uh, 2012. Uh, that's when I officially moved in full time uh, into Section 127. And basically, I, I think I took a picture and tweeted out my seats and said, like, Kings and North is born. Our real big first coming out party was Montreal away. We went to the, uh, the Olympic Stadium. Um, and, you know, when we had like, what, like 3,000 supporters go. Um, that was really our first outing as Kings in the North and uh, we got massive pickup from that and I'm kind of shocked and a little bit amazed at how fast we've grown in such a short period of time. We, we bring the noise. We're not a big group. We're not the biggest group, um, but I think what we, what we lack in size, we make in noise. Come into the stands, say hi, stand next to whoever and have a good time. You don't have to be the one jumping up and down on the seats or whatever in your first game, but the more you're in the community, the more you'll end up like that person and not even know how you got there. We started in the north end of the stadium. We're now in 116. Really excited to be there and really excited to, to be a part of, you know, the whole south end process. The point of us moving to the south, the point of us um, being a part of all the other supporters group is really to raise that noise profile in the stadium, right? One of the goals that we had as a group was to build a family, to build a community of supporters. Um, and I think that's the most important thing. I think that's what we've been successful at and it's why we have been so successful. We want all of our members to be involved in, uh, in everything we do. So whether it's you know coming up with new chants or being involved in the chants, coming out to paint banners. Um, it's really about having fun and supporting our club and making sure that uh, the guys on the pitch know that we're behind them no matter what.